Hi, YouTubies. It's me, Zachary Michael. Also, oh, I gotta be careful there. I gotta be careful there. I've had a little bit of laryngitis, which is, well, I don't know. I was, I had some kind of cold, but one of the symptoms of said cold was laryngitis. And so I haven't had the opportunity to uh, stream on Twitch for quite a few days because like, if, if I sound raspy and bad now, it was worse. Actually, there is a video on my main YouTube channel where you can you can see the evidence and proof. It's called I Can't Do This Today. Um, but otherwise, it's been a struggle, YouTube. It's been a struggle. Uh, and even, even today, it still feels like this is like, well, I already streamed for an hour prior to like starting this recording. I spent an hour yapping to my therapist today, and I also spent an hour yapping about Amber Lynn Reed for a video that's already posted to my main YouTube channel. So I've been yapping a lot today, and so we're just like working through it, and I have some water here. I'll probably be taking frequent sips, but either way, today we're watching Old Mima, and uh, just like some, some uh, what's the word I'm looking for, prefacing? that needs to happen is that these were the videos in particular that we're, we're watching today have been screened by just Jamie in the chat. Um, Jamie, whenever it comes to Mima, does not recommend any videos where uh, Mima is saying like anything particularly offensive, although that is a part of her brand. So just keep that in mind. Like, I'm not, we're not reacting to Mima because we're endorsing her. In fact, like, I'm not inherently, unless I say, like, go watch this person. Like, I said for Hannah, for instance, that I really liked Hannah and I enjoyed her content and I encouraged you all to watch her. Like, I'm not necessarily saying, like, Mima's great, okay? In fact, like, part of the, the appeal of watching Mima is, like, dissecting her crazy thoughts about prepping and nonsense like that. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. This is not an endorsement of her. It's obviously okay if people need to like check out and things like that as well. Like not every video of mine is going to be a video that you love and enjoy. I got that and that's okay. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but if you're interested, we're watching a couple videos from her today. Well, maybe a couple. We're starting with one that's mostly about prepping. Uh, and then potentially there's another one where she makes an apology video that I thought we could watch as well if we, if time permits. Uh, but, you know, you can look at her titles of her videos and kind of know what kind of personal Mima is. I mean, she literally... Um, has a video here called All Christians Pause at 6 p.m. tonight to pray for our country, which, like, I think in her time, she's in Alabama, so that's in about four minutes from when we're filming in real time. She's going to stop everything to, to pray. Um, but, like, she's out here talking about ballot boxes being burned, and uh, there's she has a whole video where she can't spell Kamala Harris's name correctly and talks about how uh, the way that she spelled it, Kamala Harris, exposed for mocking Christians. She does a lot of religious stuff. We're not watching any of that today. We're watching this one called Living in Uncertain Times slash Getting Prepared because Jamie says that this is back to Mima's roots of being about prepping. Prep. What do y'all... Gays, what do y'all know about prep? Okay. Oh, I just went back to refresh my memory on the I'm Sorry video, and it's heavy on politics and God. Well, you know, maybe we won't. Basically, what I heard was in that video, because there were some people from the Twitch community talking about it. What I had heard about that video is that she apologized for... To, like... Because she lost six subscribers or something. Apparently. I don't know. She's stocking up on Boston butts right now. She better be. Them Boston butts are hard to come by these days. You know? <clears throat> um, oh, sorry. I knocked over my bag of, of cough drops. Um, all right. So that's what we're going to do today. All right. Okay. Living in uncertain times slash getting prepared is what we're watching. Get into it. Or, or or don't. 
I was gonna say or get the fuck out, but I don't care that like I'm not trying to make y'all leave. Get into it or don't. It's fine either way. It's fine either way. Love, love, love my cream all wheat. wheat. Good reminder to turn Just the made it off. home in the pouring rain. Besties less than three. Good reminder to turn the alerts off. Destroying Angel. Thanks so much for eleven months of subscribing. Appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for stopping by after being in the pouring rain. That's crazy because every guy I know from Boston is an ass. So that what you're telling me is there's a lot of Boston butts. They shouldn't be hard to come by. I didn't think that would actually send off. Oh no, no need to apologize, destroying angel. That that was my fault for not turning off the alerts. I was just saying like, oh, reminder, Zach, turn the alerts off. Turn the alerts off, Zachary Michael. It'll be fine. Mima chopped her hair off last week. Oh my God. Maybe I'll do the same. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the same. Anyways, Twitch chat, if you're ready, could you put some 69s in the chat for me? I'd really appreciate that. I, I need to know y'all are ready. I need to know. Everybody in the chat is, is ready. You two have to match. Well, what's our current look like? What's, what's, uh, let me go look at a more recent video. We won't watch it, but let me just, oh, like this? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, that's, oh, wait. I don't know. I don't know if that's for me. I don't know if that hair is for me. I don't know if that look is for me. I don't know. I don't know, bestie. Oh, are you all praying? Can I get some prayers in the chat? Can I get some prayers in the chat? A moment of silence for our country. Just kidding. That's the perfect time to get started today. So let's get to, let's get to, uh, let's go. She's gonna, she's about to have a video titled, uh, Zakari Michael. <laughs> I have to edit that out of the VOD. Oh my God. Ooh. Zakari Michael. <laughs> well, I'm really losing it. I haven't made silly mistakes like that in a minute. Um, oh, and also, I'm literally, I don't know what I did. I moved my head too quickly. I'm literally seeing stars right now. Um, Zakari Michael uh, mocks, <laughs> mocks Christians or whatever. Um, cause I said that we're going to get started here during her moment of silence. <sighs> I think she's in central time, so she won't be praying for an hour. Alabama is not in central time unless they don't like, unless Alabama doesn't observe daylight savings time. Alabama's definitely in the, the Eastern standard time zone. I would think, I would think it would not make sense to me if Alabama was not Eastern time. But I don't know. What what the fuck do I know? Let's get to, let's get to. It's Hello, five everybody. in Alabama. This is Margaret with Alabama. How does, what? Time zones make no sense to me then. Time zones don't make a lick of sense to me. I don't get it. I really don't. That doesn't make any sense to me that Alabama would be in the central time zone. Pray for hope everybody is having a wonderful day. It is pretty here, the gorgeous, gorgeous days, but we are so dry. No rain Ooh. in the forecast. For I'm, I've been so dry too, girl. We, <laughs> how, how do we, how do we get a little wet? For the next 10 days. But anyhow, I just wanted to talk with you today. I put out a lot of videos on voting and who you should vote for. And that hasn't changed at all. But, oh, my question is, and I have done a lot of videos, uh, and I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube of the YouTubers telling you how to prepare for emergencies, what to do, uh, you know, watch out for anything. We don't know what's going to happen. What does what she... I, and maybe I just haven't watched enough of her videos, but what kind of emergency does she think is going to happen if Kamala Harris wins? 
the election. Like what? Uh, that's that. Maybe maybe she'll give more context, but that's my current question. What kind of like national emergency does she think is going to happen? It's coming up in about twelve to fourteen days. I haven't added it up. You haven't added up twelve to fourteen days. You posted this seven days ago, girl. Where? You posted this seven days ago. Where where do you get 12 to 14 days, girl? <laughs> where do you get 12 to 14 days? We don't know who's going to win. Well, duh, that's, oh. that's how elections work. You typically don't know who's going to win going into it. If, if Trump gets it, I expect anything. If Harris gets it, then, you know, I, I'm not expecting anything. What What do you mean I expect anything or I don't expect anything? What do you mean? What are you expecting? Uh, what are you expecting, Miss Ma'am? What does that mean? If if Trump gets it, I'm expecting anything. If Harris does if Harris gets it, you know, I'm not expecting anything. Bad, but uh, you know, if Trump gets it, we don't know what's going to happen. Wait, is, so she's suggesting that she expects bad things to happen if Trump gets it? I mean, I might be inclined to agree, but probably not for the same reasons. <laughs> we don't. We need to be prepared as if we're preparing for a hurricane, for an emergency. A hurricane? Does she mean a hurricane? For a dry year, for a wet winter, a cold winter, whatever. Get prepared. We don't know if we we just don't know what's ahead of us. This well, girl, why are you fear mongering then? What is the purpose of this fear mongering? What do you think is gonna happen? I need you. This is always my thing with Miss Mima. Is she comes on here and she's like, "You gotta be prepared. You don't know what's gonna happen. It could be like a hurricane. It's a fucking election, girl." You think an uh, election is going to have the same devastation and and natural disaster causes of a hurricane? This is a very strenuous time for us all because we don't know what's in store for us. But don't wait around to see what's going to be in store for us. I have done a lot of preps, but I have used a lot of preps. I'm, listen, I know I this is not coming for her because of any, like, speech impediment, accent, etc. But I genuinely don't know what she's saying. It, it looks, I guess because the, uh, the, what you, the automatic captions say preps. But I thought she said prounce. I thought she said prounce, but I think she means, like, I've used a lot, I've, I've prepared a lot of preps. And I've used a lot of preps. Also, like, as a gay person, like, you talk about prep and you're you're making me think the, the drug you take to help prevent the spread of HIV. So, <laughs> that's also where I'm at. But she's, she's saying preps. Okay, preps. So, my goal is starting tomorrow, Monday, is to start getting more preps up. I need to, um... I need to can some more beans. A Let's lot of people said, you know, why do you can beans? I can beans because they're so easy to use. If I have, if I have my beans. Are people really asking her why she canned beans? A can seems like a likely place for a bean to be to me. <laughs> a can seems like a very likely place for a bean to eat. To eat, to be. Beans canned, and a lot of times I'll season them. I'll have, uh, I'll go ahead if I'm going to do them for gumbo. I, I uh, season them for gumbo, okay, season, season them for uh, season red them. beans and rice, whatever. 
season them. It's so much easier to plan your meals if you all, uh, you know, if I'm going to fix red beans and rice, my beans are done. All I have to do is throw them in a crock pot. Put my I'd love to see some Mima crock pot recipes. Mima, you got crock pot recipes. My tomatoes in there. Uh, you know, put whatever I need in there in the crock pot. Let it get in good, good and hot. Cook, maybe cook for two hours. I have a meal. I guess I could see a question of like, why are you canning beans if you potentially like... You could just store, like, typically, like, dried beans are, like, good for, like, shelf-stable shelf storage, yeah, or no? Like, I guess that's maybe the thought process some people have behind it. Like, why not just, like, make them as needed? But, I don't know. Beans are good for stealth? For stealth? What does stealth mean? No crock pot with no electricity, Mima. Yeah, it is it is interesting that she's like, I don't know, like what kind of emergency is she worried about? Because like certainly you would have to do something different with the beans if you don't have electricity to power your crock pot. You know? But <laughs> I'm I'm still just so fascinated with what kind of like national emergency she thinks is gonna happen after the the potential election results like and like i guess based on the context of what she's saying is that she thinks that if the way she's making it sounds sound is that if trump wins that there's going to be some kind of like mass rioting and looting and stuff like that is like what i'm taking from the context clues which is just very fascinating because famously like it was like trump supporters who who, like, literally rioted the Capitol and, like, did, you know, the casual insurrection thing on January 6th. So it's fascinating, but it's also fascinating to me because I'm like, I doubt wherever she's living in Alabama that that's going to impact her regardless. Even if there were, like, enraged Kamala Harris supporters that were upset that Kamala didn't win, like, even if that was the case... I doubt that they're going down to wherever she lives in Alabama and rioting and, like, causing issues for her specifically. So I, I, I just continue to be very confused, like, why she's got to stock up on all these canned beans. Same way with shrimp gumbo. If I'm going to, um, if I'm going to fix it, I've already got everything seasoned, my okra, my tomatoes, everything seasoned. All you have to do is put it in your crock pot. Oh, add whatever seasonings you add for gumbo. She She's really committed to this idea that in an emergency, she's going to be able to use her crock pot. Add your shrimp, your sausage, and you've got a meal. It's so much easier to have your beans canned and setting in the pantry so you can put together a meal. You can also buy, maybe the other thing is, is people are like, canned beans are like so inexpensive and easy to just buy it's uh, probably probably easier than going through the process of canning your own beans at home same thing with my soups now i still got a lot of things done now, now but... canning, canning a soup that makes sense to me like if you make a huge batches of soup and you want to can that that would make sense oh I want to do, I've got beans that I vacuum packed that needs to be fixed, needs to be put in jars. So my goal tomorrow is to start canning me up a bunch of beans to have them, you know, in case of any disaster or anything that happens. Any, any disaster. I'm, I'm so glad we're about halfway through this video. And the most important thing I've learned is that in case of election disaster, you need to have canned beans available. You need to have canned beans on hand. Doesn't she have a huge amount of cans already? Well, we did watch a video once upon a time over here from her where she showed her little prepper pantry hoard situation type of deal. And she did have a lot of cans. That video was old. And I know at one point she talked a little bit about um how you know she there was one year where she didn't get to do as much prepping as she normally would have liked to have done 
I don't know if we've gotten a an updated like an updated tour of said thing. I feel like most of her videos that I can see just from looking tend to be just her sitting down yapping about prepping or like things about the election. <coughs> so it's hard to say. It's hard to say. That I'm going to start doing. I'm going to uh, need to put up some more potatoes. I've got okay. a lot in my pantry, but I could use more. So, uh, you know, I'm going to start looking around for the best rice, price for potatoes and get potatoes canned. Same with tomatoes. I didn't do much this summer uh, for health reasons. I just, you know, I didn't get it done. So, uh -huh. I'm going to start looking for the best price for tomatoes and put them up. I'm also just like, what, is, what does Mima think is helpful here? Like, we have watched preppers who have, like, actually shown the process of doing some of these things that, like, is actually helpful. But, like, why do, what, what does Mima think she's doing here helping the community of people by just being like, well, I got to can potatoes, I got to can tomatoes, I got to can beans, like, like, how is this helpful? How is this helpful? We were going to have, uh, I don't know if there are many people, I don't know where you're from, but we have a day. I'm from Chicago. Uh, Bailey's in Pensacola. It's a produce slash plant nursery. And you okay. can go there all during the summer and buy anything that you want to buy. Well, Diva, it's the fall now. So why do I care about a store that you can go to in the summer? If you want to put it up. Well, we're getting one of those. It's not Bailey's. It's called Taylor Farms. We're getting one of those in Flemington. The old, the old Taylor Farms. I don't know if it's the same Taylor Farms that Peter Mon always goes to, but there's a Taylor Farms in Indianapolis that uh, Peter Mon talks about going to a lot. I wonder if that's the same. And they say it should open up within six weeks. I'm very excited about this because you can go, you can buy any kind of produce you want. Uh -huh. you, you know, even... They sell uh, bean, colored beans, baby, baby llamas, whatever. More and fucking beans. Can we stop talking about beans, girl? Beans, 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 beans. Girl, you, you better have the best fucking heart health with how many beans you allegedly, apparently, seemingly consume. In an eight pound bag, you can buy them, bring them home. Put them in your freezer, take them out as you need them, or you can can them, put them in jars. Okay. We have yeah. run out of uh, turnips and mustard. I think I cooked my last pack of mustard yesterday. It's Damn. my goal to start getting me a bunch <coughs> of turnips and mustard and getting them cooked and putting them in bags, and I'll have them in my freezer when I need them. Okay. But um, anyhow, I am preparing... Like, this is, this, I'm sorry, I know I already made this point, but this is just, like, not even helpful. Like, all this is is fear-mongering. It's not even helpful in terms of, like, watch me do this process. It's not helpful in, like, here's how to do this. It's just her yapping about the things that she's scared of not having enough of. And she's trying to figure it out. She's, tr she's trying to figure out what I need. She's trying to make a plan beans and mustard she's talking about um i think she's talking about like mustard greens you know like i'm not a big fan of greens in general like collard greens or mustard greens or things like that but like i think that's what she's talking about i'm going to start tomorrow good lord willing nothing happens and everybody's okay tomorrow i will start on my beans i will start canning beans to get she also like it might sound like she's talking about like i'll start tomorrow as then on election day and hopefully nothing happens but again this video is like seven days old so i don't know what she was worried about happening <laughs> i don't know i don't like i i think it also you know my thing about about prepping is that I do, I do like the idea of having some stuff on hand in case a natural disaster comes around. Like, I don't know. Like, I think that's more than reasonable. Like, especially with the way the world is going. I mean, like, it was just a, a few weeks ago, even, 
even if that, uh, where there were, like, devastating hurricanes that went through the South, like, I think it absolutely makes sense to have some stuff on hand that you can take care of yourself, your family, etc. But, like, what we're talking about here is just, like, literally, like, fear-mongering prepping, right? Like, she can't even identify what she's worried about happening. She can't even identify what might happen and it's just like well what if what if what if something bad happens if Kamala gets elected what if something bad happens if Trump gets elected it's like like sure maybe there could be something that would happen but you you can't even identify that you you, you're not talking with like logic and reasoning here go in the uh in the pantry that's what we need to do. We need to start preparing. We don't know what's going to happen after this election comes through. We don't know where the groceries are going to be short. We don't. Uh, actual comment from Mima's video. It's still scary even if Trump wins. They still are in office until January. So there's no telling what they will do. Keep praying for our country and the safety of Trump and his family. There you go. Don't know where the groceries can even get here. We all know that uh, the port workers went on strike and uh, the boats couldn't get here. There was no shortage on anything, and I know that a lot of people bought toilet paper, to toilet tissue, and paper towels like crazy. You couldn't even find them on the shelves. Well, that's because y'all are crazy. Y'all are hoarding things. If we just, like, worked together as a community and didn't hoard shit anytime we got worried that something was going to happen, the strike was so short, girl, please. I mean, that's, yeah, another thing. It's just, like, also, like, people... I don't, I don't understand why people don't realize that, like, it takes that kind of, like, withholding of labor to, like, change people's lives for the better. Like, you are temporarily going to be inconvenienced for them to have like long-term better uh better lives and the jobs that they work like it's it's nuts my grandma used to be a prepper but her shtick was about preserving vitamins and minerals for winter still silly but at least we had homemade jam at any time of the year yeah i mean like I mean, that's the thing about, about prepping is it's just like a lot of things. Like, I think some level of prepping and stuff like that is fine in moderation and within reason. Like, I certainly, especially like, I don't know, I grew up having like aunts and uncles that had like gardens where they like garden vegetables and stuff like that. And like, obviously when you garden and you get a lot of produce from your garden, you can't keep all of that. So like, yeah, you can it, you, you save it you preserve it etc she put up a short during the two-day port strike uh it's the most recent on her channel and really funny <coughs> good to know good to know but our paper products is made here in the u.s so they didn't have to come overseas so there was no shortage and there was not going to be a shortage so are you so are you telling people maybe maybe they were being silly for like hoarding and saving up on those things for no reason but anyhow um you know prepare prepare we don't know what's gonna happen even if if everything goes okay and i heard this on patera patera i believe her name is the left of, voting patera patera who patera Patera. Oh. If cities burn, can you get out? What are we talking? This must be. This must be who she was talking about. This must be. Let's talk garbage. Oh, I don't. Let's not talk about this woman. I. What? It's getting desperate now? Like, just more fear. If this is the kind of stuff that Mima sits and watches all day, it's it's literally no surprise that she's out here given the same energy. Does she realize we currently have a Democrat in office and none of this has happened, so why would it tomorrow? 
Yeah, I I also don't know. I mean, you're you're asking me ma to think with like logic and reasoning. That's not really something that is um her strength, her strength. I'm also just confused like yeah, I I'm still confused why she thinks something's going to happen in Flemington, Alabama, wherever she lives, like a place I've never heard of. Like I I don't anticipate anything crazy happening to her there, you know? <clears throat> but here we are. You know, we vote November the 5th. November Nothing may hill? not happen. Everything may be fine till the first of the year. But the first of the year, if President Trump gets it, the first of the year is when our problems are going to start. What problems? What problems for you, for somebody who is seemingly a Trump supporter, are you anticipating? What does... <laughs> That's also, yeah, not when the new president takes office. Yeah, famously also not that. But, like, what does she, what does she think is, I mean, there's gonna be, pro like, I think there's a lot of people, but I'm, like, curious what she thinks the problems are gonna be. Yeah, she seems to think there'll be a problem if Trump wins and, and no problem if Kamala does. We don't know what they're going to be, but everybody is just like me. They're no, they know that everybody, leave me out of it. Everybody is not just like you. I am not like you, me, ma. <laughs> I am, babe, leave me out of it. Or, you know, if President Trump gets, gets president, we know it's not going to go off as smooth as we would hope it would. It's just, you know, we need... She is, is the narrative... Listen, I don't spend a lot of time in these circles. Is the narrative that they're running with is that if Trump is elected, that that there's going to be, like, like January 6th levels of, like, insurrectionists and rioting and things like that? Because, like, again, I just want to remind you, that's what happened when Trump lost last... And he and that's what how people responded when Trump lost. So I'm just I'm just confused. We need to get ready. We need to be sure that we can make it through the winter. We have enough of food. We have enough of wood. There's so many things that we need to worry about. I put put my trust in God, and I know that God Amen. will get us through no matter what. But I'll well, if if all if you put all your trust in God, me ma, then why are you worried? Why are you prepping? Why are you prepping for something if if you put all your trust in God? You're gonna be fine then, yeah. God also gives me the knowledge to know of the things, some of the things that I need to do. You know you know, to get by with. God, God gave you that knowledge? God said, you got prep beans, girl. <laughs> God said, you better find the best prices for potatoes and tomatoes because you got you to gotta can them. You got to can them with them beans and your okra. So my, my advice to you is, is start tomorrow if you haven't got started Damn, don't got put it off any longer because we don't know what's going to happen i, I want to be able to have enough of food to feed my family i want i want to see what you got in your pantry right now because something tells me you got more than enough this is the same woman that was complaining about spending 500 dollars on like 1200 pounds of meat that that she didn't need immediately. You know, I, I want to be able to have enough of wood to build a fire. We don't know if we'll have electricity. We don't know. Well, if then why are you sitting over here talking about all these crock pot recipes you're going to make? If we'll have gas. We don't know. We're in a world of uncertainty right now. That, it is so wild that she really thinks that whatever the results of the election are are going to lead to her not having gas, electricity, etc. in her home in middle of nowhere, Alabama. 
Not, oh, you'll have gas with all them beans. Get out of here, King. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so whatever you do... Get prepared. Start tomorrow. Do whatever you can to make your life better. And, hey, if nothing happens, then we're ahead of the game. I love each and every one of y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. And see you next time. See you next Tuesday. See you tomorrow. I'm curious what she posts tomorrow. We're praying today. We'll see tomorrow. Um... You said there was a, a short about the 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 docks. As you said it's the most recent one about the the port worker strike. Hello everybody. This is Margaret with Alabama Prepper. Uh went out to our Walmart this afternoon, needed a few things, and the panic buying has started. Oh my god. <laughs> The, the cell phone alert jump scared me. Jump scared me for real. Also, if you can't read the caption at the bottom, it says, Bear Sheaves at our Walmart. Panicking has began. I think it's supposed to be Bear Shelves, but she spelled it S-H-E-V-E-S. <clears throat> um, but this is apparently, allegedly, I think this is what Jamie was saying was about the, uh, the, the, port workers strike thing situation um i also i appreciate that she's calling it panic buying because like if you're calling it panic buying then it sounds like you're acknowledging like maybe this is not necessary you know like maybe cool your jets there was no paper towels no toilet paper uh the manager was trying to get also also this is I, I saw somebody say i went to walmart yesterday and the shelves were fine this is an old short this is like not recent this is not something she recently posted just for context and for the record the uh paper towels on the shelves as quick as he could there was no white bread Oh, no, no Walmart bread. No. Uh, there were four loaves. I got one. I think the lady behind me got one. Oh, they told oh, me when no. I went to check out that they had checked out one lady that her buggy was full of white bread. So what? What will we do without our white bread? That's just like so funny to me because like things I literally never eat is white bread. Like I can't tell you the last time I even brought bought a, a loaf of bread that wasn't like there we do sometimes pick up a, a loaf of fancy bread from this like local like bodega by us but otherwise i'm like i'm not out here buying white bread panicking has begun thank you <laughs> panicking has begun thank you no thank you Mima. <coughs> thank you well besties i think that's where we're gonna leave it for Mima. Um, I probably will check in to see whatever her response is post-election because I really am curious what she thinks is going to happen. I really am just fascinated what natural disaster she thinks is going to be caused by, by this election. Either way, it's just very fascinating to me. Um, I mean, there's certainly have been bad things that have happened from previous elections, and I think there's, like, lots to to consider or discuss, but uh, I think we're probably on a very different page than old Mima, for sure, for sure. Um, anyways, my voice is still struggling, and I think I do need to go rest it. So, YouTubies, thanks so much for watching today. I appreciate you all so much. Um, that's all I got. Bye, YouTubies! Subscribe!